At last, plebgate on film. And there is Andrew Mitchell cycling down to the main gate of Downing Street, being refused exit and heading to the side gate. With no sound, we don't know what he said. But there are precious few onlookers outside the gates, which contradicts the official police log, saying members of the public were visibly shocked by the then Chief Whip's language. And he himself is disputing the police version of events more and more vehemently. I never said phrases like that at all. I would never call someone an effing pleb. Anyone who knows me well would know that it is absolutely not in me to use phrases like that. The government has nothing to gain from the resurrection of the plebgate story. Headlines about a rude, abusive cabinet minister did real damage to the Conservatives. But there are now serious problems with elements of the case against Andrew Mitchell. The main problem is with a key witness statement. The day after Andrew Mitchell's argument here, a man came forward saying that he'd witnessed the whole thing. A member of the public, it seemed, who'd just been walking past and who corroborated the official version of events. Well, it now turns out he was actually a serving police officer, though off duty, and he didn't witness anything because he wasn't here. That prompted a Downing Street spokesman to say, any allegations that a serving police officer posed as a member of the public and fabricated evidence against a cabinet minister are exceptionally serious. It is therefore essential that the police get to the bottom of this as a matter of urgency. We welcome Bernard Hogan Howe's commitment to achieve that aim. I think the assumption up until now has been that the police are saints and that the ghastly politician is the villain. And what we appear to have now is at least one officer who has gone out of his way to deceive um, everyone and drag Andrew Mitchell's name through the dirt when he knows it not to be true. Andrew Mitchell resigned admitting he behaved badly. It is very unlikely any new information will get him his old job back, but he has reignited a row many in Westminster thought dead and buried.